Uh, Breakthrough Men is a, is a team I came up with. Uh, I suppose in Mayo, in the last 50, 60 years, we're looking to we're looking to break through and win in all Ireland. And I'm looking at guys that maybe have been with counties that have been starved of success, the likes of Loch Nan, Brawley, McConville, and they initially went through years and years of toughness, but eventually made the breakthrough. And I suppose just to look at them, ask the questions, how did it happen? How did they make it happen? And how maybe could it happen for Mayo? Something that when we were in the hospital for the last year, year and a half, it often came to my mind that if we were to do a charity event, what could we do and how could it be different? And I suppose it's just come about, I suppose, with the lack of success maybe that Mayo had and maybe winning in All-Ireland. So I got to know Oisin McConville, who was a guest on the night over the past two years and got friendly with him. And also Mike Finnerty, who is an encyclopedia on sport. And I've bounced it off with these guys and they just thought it would be a great topic and a great idea to go with. The first we knew about leukaemia, was on the 7th of June last year. My eldest daughter, Emma, uh, she was preparing for a leaving cert. And a few weeks prior to doing her leaving cert, she was beginning to feel a bit tired in bits and pieces, but she got checked and it was down to maybe the stress of exams and so on and so forth. But unfortunately, on the night of the Tuesday the 7th, she got sick and we brought her to Kesselbar Hospital. And from there, our world was turned upside down. We were, we were sent from Kesselbar to Galway, where we were met with the consultants and we were told that she had myeloid leukemia and I suppose the first thing you think you're just so frightened when you hear that and you think of death and you think of all different things you don't think how much people recover from it but I suppose our journey started there and I suppose where I've come from is the reason I'm doing this is I don't realize what people go through or didn't realize what people go through until you're thrown into that situation and the suffering and the bits and pieces that families have to go through throughout that time so the reason behind tonight basically is that in the likes of Galway Hospital, if you're there with a loved one or a family member, you could be 48 hours or t three days sitting on a couch because you're afraid to leave in case anything goes wrong. So what we're trying to do is build a unit where we can put a, a kitchen, a shower and a couch so that a person can get a break for a couple hours and make a cup of tea and have a wash and freshen up and get ready to go again because they're probably afraid to leave in case anything goes wrong. Secondly, part the second reason we're doing this is that you know, maybe buy some chairs, bits and pieces, just to make it a bit more comfortable for families when they're sitting beside their loved ones and so on and so forth. We got so much help over the last year from different people in both Galway and Dublin, and we're just trying to give something back because it is a life-changing thing. It turns your world upside down, but we want to let people know that you can get better from it. There is positive stories, and a lot of positive, more than negative, and we just want people to start thinking like that, and we want to help people out. And to be honest, it was the lads in Lewisburg and the, and the, and the community in general that... You know, the support we got from them. There's many times I didn't feel like doing it, but once I went and got the hour or two done, it was just something that it, it had lifted you, recharged the batteries to go again. Because I remember the morning we played the Connacht semi-final against Galway. I left the intensive care in St. James's Ward at half 11. I didn't even want to go, but what the lads did that day, the performance they gave, everything they've done in the last year, it's been a, it's been a huge help to both June, myself, Emma and Aoife, and I just want to thank the lads again for all the different little bits and pieces they did for us throughout the year. It'll never be forgotten. And yes, the football was hugely important just to keep a small little thing normal. Tick tickets are going to be distributed to uh, Elvery's Castle Bar, Elvery's Westport and Elvery's Ballina. Also, we're going to have three guys selling the tickets. Myself, John Kelly, uh, Paul Welch from Calchamaw and Darren Flynn from Park. You can contact any of us three. Contact any of the... El the tickets will be available in the Elvery stores. Uh, an email to myself at john.kelly at cplfuels.ie I'll come back to you if you leave your number on it I'll get back to you and I'll supply you with the tickets the tickets are 20 euro a piece the one thing we can guarantee is that everything will be managed every penny spent will be spent on the patients and the families I suppose I've got to know Mike over the years from being involved in, in Mayo GA circles and you know he's a real professional at his job his knowledge his knowledge of GA and indeed all sports in general is top class his presentation Everything he does is really, really good, and I think that's shown by the way he commentates on Sky Sports. And I just feel that he'll bring the real quality to what we're trying to do and, and make it successful. It's the local streaming, which has been huge. Uh, we've seen it at club level when we got the All Ireland semi final last year. The commentary, the excitement he brought to it, probably one of the biggest days in the club, and he really brought a life to it. So I suppose the Mayo News, the local streaming, the national media, everything like that.
two things why I think we we went for Joe Brawley. Number number one, he, his panelist he's controversial. He asked the hard questions. He's not afraid to give his opinion. But number two, he's been involved. He gave his kidney selflessly uh, to another friend of his, and you know uh, changed his life. And I suppose where we're coming from, from our point of view, Emma, my daughter had a transplant over a year ago, and I suppose with Joe, with myself, we're trying to just maybe raise awareness, you know, to be able to give blood, you know. You know, there's other, you can help people. You can help people in many ways, and it's just important to be aware that uh, you know that a bone marrow bud can save somebody's life. It's it's not it's not a huge procedure, and I suppose Joe just to highlight, you know, what the the joy you can bring to someone else of a transplant. Well, again, Gerlach Nan, I suppose he's 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 one of the key key breakthrough men in my opinion, and he brought Claire, he brought Claire from from nowhere really, to win in two All Irelands. And I suppose the second significant reason we're looking at Gerlach Nan is that Ger himself had leukemia and he knows the, the work and he knows what patients go through and families go through in these situations. And I suppose aside from my own point of view, he may be able to shed light on, on how we can help people in these areas as well. And I think, again, that's usually important. Well, firstly, I got to know Oisin when we arranged a trip to Cross Maglen in January 2016. It was initially when I took over the Lewisburg team and the reaction that we got from, from the players to his session was just something that stuck with me. I'm, I, I kept in touch with Oisin and I became friendly with him throughout the year and he's come to Lewisburg on a few occasions and in fairness to him he's always inquired about my daughter, how things are going. And I just think he's, he's, he's had his own things to deal with in the past. He's, he's a strong man, he's come through it. He's hugely positive. And I think, you know, we have to have a positive outlook in life and we have to look at every day as what we can do today. And I think that's what he brings to the table. But what I do think is that from where Oisin's journey has taken him through, throughout life, from where he has been to and to where he has come, come to now, I think it just takes a hugely mentally tough man to do that. And I think other than looking positive and other than being looking forward, Rather than looking back, I think he's the ideal man, and all I can say is the infection uh, and, and, and the lift he gave our team at certain times over last year was just something that we'll always be appreciative of. I think Austin, Austin O'Malley, again, no more than Oshie McCombs, is one of the most positive guys I've ever met. I think his application to work, the work he's done with the Lewisburg lads over the last two or three years, has done the conditioning. He's probably the most unassuming man I know. I do honestly believe that he will go on to be one of the top coaches in football or whatever he, whatever he does. I think his leadership skills, um, you know, he is, he is a word for everyone. And I just I just think he's, he's just a really great guy. And I've been looking to be involved in training him and winning our Connacht County and Connacht titles over the last couple of years with him. Austin O'Malley, I suppose, he's just a guy with huge experience. He has played for Mayo in the 90s. He played for Wicklow in the 2000s. Um, for me personally, the work, the way he's helped me out over the last couple of years in developing this Lewisburg team, this young team with the strength and condition, so on and so forth. I think his positivity is, is just infectious. I don't think he's a bad word to say about anyone. And I, I absolutely think he has a great, great career ahead of him in whatever he does. And I, I certainly think he'll be one of the top coaches in the country in time to come. Two.